All right, so let's talk about Roam and journaling. So this could be done in many other places. I just wanna show you my specific setup, how I'm doing it right now. And this is definitely an ever-changing uh, setup. I wouldn't say it's a work in progress in the sense that uh, with most journaling of any sorts, it's probably something that's gonna change. You know, over time, you'll find that questions you ask yourself uh, are more important at certain points in your life. And you know, it's times change, you change that needs to change as well. So I have to remind myself of this, but I'll just say it, uh, hopefully it helps you. Just remember that this doesn't have to be something that you're achieving perfection. It's about, you know, it's kind of a constantly evolving work of art that you're adding a little bit to taking away the parts that are no longer needed. And so if it stops working or you're not finding it as effective, don't think like, oh, it just broke or I suck, it's me. No, you just need to update and, you know, figure out what's working well for you at that point in time. So let's get into this. Uh, with, like I said, I do this in Rome. You can do this uh, wherever you want. And, um, you know, you can make a template just anywhere. Just take these general ideas and, you know, put it where you use it, whether you're using uh, Google Doc, you're using pen and paper, um, you're using Notion, something like that. So let's take a look. Right now, what I am doing, and I'll show you all this in a minute, is I'm using the Smart Blocks, which uh, I will include the link in the description. You can definitely check this out over at Roamstack, uh, but there's uh, a lot of really great information. Um, it's relatively straightforward. I'm not gonna say that it's super easy. You have to create um, a page, Rome slash, uh, what is it? Oh, I'm gonna forget it or mess it up. Uh, so Rome.js for JavaScript, you've gotta paste some stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna bore you with that. There's some great tutorials out there. Uh, just watch a video or see the screenshots of someone doing it before you go and try to do it yourself. And that'll probably save you a lot of time if you're like me and I'm not a programmer, I'm not a developer, I just have to follow what other people have set up. Uh, but you could also use uh, Rome's new templating feature. Um, so relatively new, uh, if you wanna do that. The reason I'm using um, the smart blocks is because I wanted one really specific feature and that is the ability to choose from a uh, random block from a page. And I'll get into that in a minute. So let's just see what this looks like now. Since I'm using uh, the smart blocks, uh, instead of using the two semicolons like I would for Rome, I use the two J's and then we have daily review, okay? So what that's doing, I'll let it go through there. We've got a few things that it's uh, popping in there and I'm gonna go through and talk about each one of these. Okay, so daily review, how do I feel? This is something I like to keep track of and I'm just using sliders for this. My hope is that in the future I've asked around and haven't seen a way to do this, but uh, that I could go through and keep some sort of a tally or um, export kind of a data and be like, hey, over the last three months, what was the average? You know, What did it look like? Um, but I just use the sliders and say, yeah, how am I feeling? It's just a quick check in, you know, physically, mentally, and just how motivated am I feeling to do things? Now, what I've done with these is each of these sections is a page and then I've got the slider below it. So this is kind of interesting. So let's actually go over here and check out what one of these looks like. So you can see there's nothing uh, showing on the page, but we do have those linked references. And every time I fill that out every day, there we go you can see, so I can go through and see, okay, well, that's interesting. Why was it a five? Uh, and I like to use these for reviews on kind of a monthly or definitely the quarterly level and just see, hey, what, you know, is there something I could do that would help bump this up a little bit or, you know, keep me from having a bad day? So kind of an interesting way of doing that. And I like it for me that it's graphical. Um, I would like to get more data out of that, however. Okay, so that's the same for all of those. And then review, uh, this is just me. All right, what went well yesterday? One thing, 10 things, nothing. <laughs> and But just writing something down there, reminding myself, what was it yesterday? Uh, you know, and I like to do that in order to one, have a positive note, uh, even if it's a bad day, right? There's always something that went well. Maybe, you know, you, you had a just terrible day. It felt like, you know, there's a little rain cloud falling around, but maybe, you know, you just enjoy dinner or something like that. Um, or if you had many things go right, you know, go for it. Um, the one thing I also like to do is one thing I could have done better yesterday, right? Just self-improvement. And I don't focus or dwell on this too much. If nothing comes to mind, I will skip it. Uh, but I do try to be a little reflective, take a minute or two. You know, what was it that I could have improved on a little bit? And this is also great. 
for those quarterly review sessions um, or monthly, however you do it, when you want to go back and say, yeah, what are the things that, you know, I've been trying to improve on or what are the things that have maybe been tripping me up? And when you can see 30, 60, 90 of those answers all at once, you can very clearly start to identify some trends or you could even export the info, put it into like a word cloud and see what pops up. So uh, just some ideas there on, on ways you can do that. And then I like a little bit of a gratitude. What are three things I'm grateful for? Uh, coffee makes it on there way too much. Uh, but I do try to sit down and take a minute and just be like, yeah, you know, what was it today? Maybe it's uh, one for me that comes out a lot is being able to walk outside of my door and go for a run or a walk in the morning uh, and just living in an area where that's possible. So I'm thankful and grateful for that. And, you know, anything else that comes to mind. Now, this is where I'm using the smart blocks. Everything here you could do with either copy and paste, you could do it with a text expander, um, you could do it with Roam templates, but this part right here, I believe, can't be done uh, without the smart block. So what's going on here is this is uh, pulling in a random block from a page. And so I've, uh, I asked actually on Twitter, got some great responses for um, what are some great journaling prompts? And I copied probably over a hundred of them from various sources. And I added, I think I had 10 or 15 of my own. And so this comes in and these have actually been, this has been the greatest change um, I've made probably in the last 30 days. I think I did this right after Christmas. And having this in there really helped me to switch it up because what I had before was, you know, what are you thinking about today? And that's great when I feel like writing but it's also a little vague in that, you know, I've, I've got to think about that. Do I want to write this down? Is it worth writing down? And so having this as a really more specific prompt has been great. Uh, I've got some in there like, you know, what the one I had earlier today was like, you know, what was your who was your first childhood crush? And just, you know, the memories that that stuff brings up, um, you know, what's one thing, um, you know, you haven't done this month that you really wanted to do? Uh, or how about this? You know, how did you procrastinate on important tasks this week? Very specific prompt. I like that because it generally uh, brings to mind, you know, uh, some ideas right away. I can always find something to write with with these. So that's its own page in uh, in Rome, and it's just all it is is blocks of one or two liners that are journaling prompts. So that I really like. Uh, today's hit list. All right, this is just things I need to do. And what's going on here? If you're not familiar with it, this is a tool I highly recommend. Um, this is an iframe. So I'm using focuster.com. Uh, if you go to focuster, you'll probably see me on the homepage. I've been uh, using it for several years. I love it as a tool. And it's one of, if not the only one I'm aware of that has a true two-way sync between uh, Google Calendar, or I think it does other calendars, uh, but it, your calendar and your tasks. So you tell it, hey, I want to spend one hour doing this thing. And I, you know, okay, this is what it is. And it looks at your calendar and says, okay, well, this is when you have an hour and it puts it in there. So it's a great way to use uh, your calendar and really stay on top of, you know, how much uh, time do you actually have versus the tasks you're trying to assign yourself. And so I really like that. It keeps me in check. Um, I'm not perfect, but it helps me uh, make sure that I'm not saying, yeah, I can do these 23 tasks today, you know, which when I line them up is like, 30 hours of work when, you know, you have to put it in here, it really helps you concentrate on, okay, if I've got these, you know, 23 things, what are the four or five that I can actually get done? And then, you know, start to trim that down and be more realistic as time goes on. And I just like having this in Rome so that I can go through and have this all in one spot. And if I need to, I can make notes down here, of course, on the daily page. Um, and so having that on its own in here was very helpful. But again, you could just use uh, to do list, you, you know, if you have something else you want to do. But don't forget about the iframe. The iframe is really powerful if you want to bring things into Rome sometimes like this. And then down here, this is one I just did where um, I didn't have a great way of checking to do's. And I don't traditionally use Rome as my task management. I use ClickUp. I work with a small team. And so I need something they can all have access to. And I know there are some uh, kind of multiplayer aspects to Rome, but for now I need something uh, where I can have a real project management system uh, that works very well with other people. And for me, I find that Rome works really well for myself, but I need to get things out of Rome um, to, to have other people collaborate in a more effective manner. But what I wasn't doing was having a great way to check on Rome to-dos or to make use of them. And I think they are great. 
Uh, so having that in there, just a quick query to say, hey, do I have any to dos, you know, that are basically overdue um, or due today? And then that just catches anything in case I'm, you know, making a quick note, maybe I have a call with somebody and just say, hey, I want to send them something, make it a to do, add the date and boom, that's covered. Now I don't have to think about, OK, I need to go over here, uh, click on to dos, see if anything's overdue. It automatically pops up in my daily review. All right, so that is, yeah, that's the framework right now. Uh, definitely, like I said, an ongoing uh, work in progress and uh, something that I look forward to to having some more changes to in the future. So if you're using uh, Rome or you have some ideas or feedback on this, by all means, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you're thinking and, and what you would do or what you take from this and incorporate into your own. So I think this is definitely a a uh, great thing to share with other people and to get ideas from, you know, we're not islands. Finding out what other people are doing, what is working for them is a great way uh, to increase it, uh, the, or increase it, increase it for ourselves and the value we have in doing our daily review. So again, if you found this helpful, let me know. Let me know what you uh, took from it. And if you've got ideas for me, by all means, let me know.